Welcome to the CMX Games Design Cast, episode number 17. I am Dave. I'm Scott. And we've had an exciting weekend. It started with an article showing up in the Daily Mining Gazette up in Houghton, Michigan, our hometown, featuring Scott and myself and Copper Country, this game right back here. A uh, great article about the game and us and why we're doing it. That was exciting. And uh, then I was in Minneapolis. I had these plans for since October to visit my parents, my wife's, grand my wife's parents, um, go to a hockey game. Uh, and meet with our artist, Christopher Park. I got to play the game with him. He was super excited to see the actual physical product of all of his uh, months of hard work that went into the game. So that was really cool. And then Scott was at Protospiel in Milwaukee. So what happened? So yeah, so I got to play a bunch of cool games, uh, meet a bunch of cool people. Um, so just to let's run really quickly down uh, maybe like the top three games in my mind that I played. Uh, Neil Roberts, I got to play his game Prohibition. Uh, based on like rum running, uh, it's an economic type worker placement game. Uh, you know, and, and basically in prohibition, you go around racing to fulfill uh, different towns' orders of gin, whiskey, and, and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, like trading around the pieces and and uh, getting my champagne and popping it. Uh, um, then uh, I got a chance to play um, Adam Buckingham's uh, Backyard Astronaut. That was a lot of fun. Like. Uh, sort of the theme uh, was just really lighthearted. You're basically making these like rockets in your backyard to go to space out of out of junk, right? And so even if I wasn't winning, I was having fun like strapping like car doors onto a 1950s refrigerator and, and, and stuff like that. Um, so that that one was really great. Uh, was, uh, the theme was was just like spot on. Uh, I got to play uh, Ed Marriott's uh, prototype of Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, while we were in the uh, hotel bar watching the Badgers beat uh, Oregon and the NCAA basketball tournament, the Badgers beat Ohio State uh, in the Big Ten hockey tournament. Yeah, That's go nice. Madison team. Go local home team, sports. Yeah. Um, I was really jealous when I saw the pictures you were tweeting. I didn't realize you were playing in a bar at the time. Yeah, yeah, it's just just go down the hallway and, and, then, and then you're there. Um, I had some wings, if that surprises you. Um, and uh, so yeah, that, the Brooklyn Bridge was uh, sort of uh, it was an interesting like you're cooperating to build the Brooklyn Bridge, but uh, you're also like competing to do the best in various uh, aspects of it, like right. max out each each individual portion and, and stuff like that. So I had a lot of fun like collecting all the pieces and figuring out the way that he changed the game in the last day, broke it uh, in some way. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it, was, it was cool to, to get to pick Ed's brain about uh, you know being a successful uh, you know uh, game developer, uh, you know successfully developing a, a game that's, that's been launched. Oh well. Um, then you got to play some Copper Country. Uh, so that's the thing that we did. Um, so you know back last fall uh, we we took Copper Country an early prototype to to Proto Spiel and and. Uh, Got a lot of feedback. Uh, lot of it was basically told it was a mess, and, and rightly so. And, and so that really formed the foundation of revamping Copper Country to what it is today. Uh, brought it back to Protospiel, um, and generally people really enjoyed it. Um, like, um, yeah, I really enjoyed seeing my phone blow up on the Twitter just because people were talking about the game, and it really seemed like they were having a lot of fun and really enjoyed the art. Uh, which was really fun because I was sitting there with our artist while this was happening on Twitter, and I could read things off of Twitter to him, like uh, the art is great, that kind of stuff. But, you know, I was sitting there playing the game with him. So it definitely helped, yeah, having Ed take a picture, and he's got a big following. So it definitely helped having him take, tweet that, and then yeah, Dave got to live vicariously through all the uh, <laughs> all the people saying like, "Wow, this looks really good for a prototype." Um, so yeah, we, you know, we got some some uh, some. Uh, you know, critical feedback as well, just a little bit, mostly dealing with a little bit of the graphic design, a little bit of the pacing, um, and, and things like that. Some of it dealing with things that we've tweaked recently, and largely we sort of have a good handle on how to how to go forward on yeah, it. Largely stuff we so. know about, no huge surprises this year. Yep, exactly, yeah. Um, and uh, I got to play a couple games of our super secret uh, side project, uh, Brickworks. Um, basically, you know, when I was sitting around at a table with uh, uh, some people after playing a game or something, it wasn't clear that they were immediately booking it to another game. It was like, oh, hey, you want to play a brick building worker placement game? Like, crack open the case, and they see the, the bricks in there. The, and they're like, yeah. 
and, and so uh, we got some good feedback about that, about like how it should feel and things like that. Um, uh, but generally, people seem to like it. Like you know, I gave them, I gave them an out halfway through the game, and like, no, let's finish it. Um, so so that was pretty cool too. Yes. So thank you very much to everybody who played the game. Yeah, seriously, uh, Dugan, Evan Peterson, we got Glenn and Scott Eckenberry, uh, we got uh, um, Ed Marriott, of course, King Klenko, uh, Adam Buckingham, uh, and then we had a couple pe extra people that played uh, Brickworks, uh, Evan Peterson and Brian Abba. Thanks a ton for playing our game. So much. Um, we really appreciate it. So we're going to chew on all this feedback, uh, you know, work on it really hard, think about it, Think about how it's going to affect the game, and then we're going to come back next week with like how we feel about it and what we're going to do about it also. Yep. So thanks again to the hosts of Protospiel. Thanks for putting on this awesome event. Uh, Copper Country would not be what it is today uh, without it. That's absolutely true, and I'm sad that I was not there yet again. <laughs> Maybe next fall. Maybe next fall. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> all right, so that's 17. We'll be back in 18 with... Uh, the nitty-gritty of all the feedback we got at Protospiel the second time around.